What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, I'm back again. Man, I'm back again. Look. Uh, you know what? This story, I don't believe I spoke on it, but, yeah, well, I, I, I'm not going to say I don't believe it. I think I did. I think I didn't. I think I did. I think I didn't. Uh, if I did, it's got to be almost three years, two and a half, almost three years old. Um, two and a half. No, no, let's say two years old. When I first, you know, when I first got started in YouTube, um, I think I spoke on it. And if I did, I don't think I went into detail. But now I will. It's a, it, well, I ain't gonna say it's a funny story. It's just one of them stories of something that happened in my young life. When I dip my toes off into this thing called gang banging, you know what I'm saying? This thing called cripping, you know. Um, man, back in the 19 back in the 1970s, back in the 1970s, whether it was 77, 78, 79, I think it was around in those three years. They had a thing, um called the party line. Now, back then, if you old enough to remember, y'all people will remember you was able to um you was able to call the time. If you didn't have no 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 working clock or watch or something in your house, of course, it wasn't no cell phones out back then. So <clears throat> if you didn't if you uh didn't have none none, you know, no no clock or no watch or something in the house, you used to always go through your mama, your mama holler from the back room. Boy uh, call the time. See what time it is. Call the time. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I no, I'm not even gonna sit here and try to fake like I can remember what you know. What I'm saying what the number was. I don't know if it was a three digit number you called or if it was a drawdown. I don't know. But what I do remember that they had a party line on the phone. And the party line is, I don't know if if too many wires got crossed back then or, you know what I'm saying, Ma Bell, which was the phone company, had a glitch in the matrix or something. I don't know how it would happen. But what would happen was when you call the time, um, I, if I can remember right, in between it telling you the time or whatever it was or, or it clicking over, I can't really remember, man, back in the, back in the mid, late 70s. Um, what would happen was it was a party line. Any and everybody around LA that was calling, you was able to holler and talk to people. And you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what everybody was doing. Man, they was calling the time, jumping on the party line. Hold on. They was calling the time. Hold on. My bad. They was calling the time and they was jumping, they was jumping on the party line. And they was just talking to people, just, you know, hey, man, what's up? You know, you heard dudes' voices, female voices going every which way. Yow, yow, yow. People trying to holler at, who is, man, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? You know, um, you would have people hollering out their names, hollering out phone numbers. It would hang up after a certain amount of time, and you would have to call back. As soon as you dial it back again, you trying to find the person that you was, you know, hollering at, screaming at. You, you hey, hey, Denise, Denise, Denise. You know what I'm saying? And they hollering out their number. You hollering out yours, and you trying to, you, you trying to get the hook up. You know, you was trying to get the hook up. And um, I got caught up in the party line situation. I got caught up in the party line situation, and I jumped in it with 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 both feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, that. That really was a prelude to, I guess you called uh, Facebook. <laughs> you know, wasn't no such thing as a Facebook back in the late 70s, but it kind of give you an idea when I think back to how it was on, you know, how it was going to go down. But anyway, um, I met a girl. I met this girl. I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. Like I said, this this years and years ago, back in the 70s. And um, I met her, I got her number, and ain't no telling who else all had her number, but I had got her number, you know, and um, I ended up calling her. 
So we end up talking and boom, I cannot remember. I can't remember this girl's name for the life of me. So, um, after we talked, we talked for a few days or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, she was, she was like, come on by and see me, come by and see me, come by and see me. So I'm like, all right, you know, cool. I'm gonna come by. I'm gonna come by now. Granted, I was only about 13 at the time. I was only about 13 at the time. Just started gang banging. You know what I'm saying? Smelling myself. And um, remember I always told y'all that my older cousin Walter was the one who made me want to be a crip. He put this crip thing in my mind when I was real young. And no matter what, I was going to be a crip. Because of his indoctrination, I was going to be a crip no matter what. And you know what? Right to this day, um, I remember, I remember it had to have been around 19, it had to have been around 1973. Had to have been around about 1973 when the first time my cousin Walter told me that I was going to be a crip. Now, I didn't know what he was talking about. Of course, y'all heard, you know, most of y'all heard this story before. But for those who haven't, this is what made me take the route of being a crip when I was coming up. But about, I, I say it was around about 1973. Um, That's when my cousin started drilling it into my head and my other cousin Craig's head. That, boy, y'all gonna be a crip. Y'all gonna be a crip. He used to punch us in the chest. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'd smoke weed, try to get us to smoke it. Mm -mm, I wasn't with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, taste a little alcohol. I remember, I remember the first time I shot a gun was with him. He held my hand and we held it up in the air in the backyard. Bow! You know? Anyway, I worshipped him. I idolized him. Far as I was concerned, the moon, the sun, the stars, everything, he was the one who invented them. He made them. That's how much I respected him. That's how much I love my, you know what I'm saying, my big cousin Walter. You know what I'm saying? So um, when he told me as a young child, a little kid, that when I got older that I was going to be a crip, it was written in stone to me. It was written in, it was written in adamantium steel. You know what I'm saying? It was written in antimatter. It was in my head, my cerebellum, my cerebrum. You know? Boom. I just had to bide my time till I found him and got old enough and joined. But anyway, that's what happened with that. So, um, as you know, years and years go by, years and years go by. I never forget my cousin ended up going to prison. I remember you went to San Quentin. Um, did some years, did some years, ended up coming back. Um, by the time he came back, I was in the mix. I was live and in color. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Hadn't been banging that long, though. Hadn't been banging that long. I never forget, man. My um, my cousin came over to the house one time, and he let he had a uh he had a a, a penalty, but it was a uh, it was what you know for y'all who don't know. There's a difference between a penalty and another pair of uh, paraphernalia clothes item called a lumberjack. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of you youngsters, y'all ain't going to know the difference. Y'all run, y'all wearing skinny jeans and them little itty bitty shirts now, you know? So y'all don't know the difference between a Pendleton and a lumberjack. A Pendleton is, you know, the Pendleton shirt, long sleeve Pendleton shirt. A lumberjack is a coat, a big long coat in the style of a Pendleton, but it's thicker and bigger. It's a coat. Um, I never forget, man, my cousin Walter gave me a, a a green, a, a dark green, light green lumberjack. Um, and I, I cherished it. I kept it for years. You know what I'm saying? That was my mainstay. You know what I'm saying? When I, I thought, I thought I was the hardest thing since um, cement when I had it on, cause I got it from him. You know. But anyway, he went and did a little time. He anyway, he come back. So look, um. I done met this girl on the party line. I done met her on the party line. And um, she talking that come over talk. She talking that come over talk. 
Now, I'm not going to lie. Um, Back then, at the time when I met her, I don't even think I'd had sex yet. I don't even think I had no cat. You know? No, I hadn't, you know? Smelling myself. Won't, won't, won't do it. Just got to find somebody to do it with, you know? So, uh, it is what it is, was what it was. It's going to be what it's going to be. Or see, you know? So, look. Uh, she gave me her address. Well, now, what the address was, to this day, I can't really tell you, homie. I cannot really tell you. But anyway, I had the address, and I went to my cousin. I went. I called. My, I called my cousin. He came over, and I told him, I said, "Hey, man, um, uh, I want to go over to this girl's house. I want to go over to this girl's house." So he was like, "All right, what's up?" I'm like, "Man, you can take me over there and drop me off." He like, "Where she live at? Where she live at?" I said, man, uh, I don't know, but here go the address. Now, when I gave him the address, he looked at it. He looked at me. He looked at the address. He looked at me. He looked at the address, and he looked at me. He said, man, you sure you want to go over there? I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I, I, all I knew in my mind that it was on the west side. It was somewhere on the west side. Now, listen, it's, this, is, this is the thing that a lot of people don't speak on. You know what I'm saying? About L.A. history. But, man, look, back in the day, man, the east side and the west side did not like each other, period. You feel what I'm saying? Man, the east side and the west side, no. No, 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 no. They can they, 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 they kiss and, and all they want to today. But back in them 70s, oh, no, uh-uh. East and the west didn't like each other because the east side, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> man, was hard was hard. I'm talking about her. You man, look, man, brothers off that east side, man, was some stone down gargoyles. Especially from the shoulders. You feel me? You know, man, we had a cold stigma. You know, people used to look at us on the east side in a in a in a certain type of light. You know what I'm saying? As years went by, you know, people would always say if you if you was out somewhere and went to acting stupid and ignorant and crazy and wild, they they would tell you. If they was off the west side, at least they would say, "Man, stop acting easty, stop acting easty." That was a way of saying, "Man, stop acting like you off the east side." Meaning, man, you acting like you a fool. You know what I'm saying? You acting like you ghetto and crazy as I don't know what. But that's how we was on that east side, and the west side didn't like us, and the east side didn't like them. Because, you know, I was indoctrinated into this. You know what I'm saying? Um, We caught a fool, we caught a fool on, 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 in the turf, and he was off the west side. And it wasn't no set tripping thing. It was just the fact he was from the west side. Fool, what you doing over here? Especially they try to come over there and mess with the women. Oh, man, it was a problem. You know what I'm saying? And see, look, back then... You know, man, I ain't gonna even lie. You know, hey, hey, all my beautiful east side queens, you know, all my baby mamas and wives and all that off that east side. So, you know what I'm saying? I love the grind y'all woke on. But I got to call a ball a ball, a strike a strike. Man, back then, man, the homegirls on that east side, they was they look a little rough. <laughs> Sometimes you couldn't tell us apart, you know? <laughs> you feel me? Um, we knew all the bad bros was on the west side. Man, we were man, we back in the day, homie, we used to take them trips. Up to Hollywood High and, and Fairfax and, and, and Audubon. We used to call it Audubon back then. Audubon and all of those stuff, man. Because they had, you know, they had the bad female. We thought, you know, so that, you know, Inglewood, man. As far as we felt, every broad in Inglewood looked good just from the fact she was from the wood, you know. Everything looked different, man. They had, their hair was long. They dressed, they dressed better. They was all that. Our homegirls on the east side hair might have been about that long. And they was ready to fight. Y'all don't be mad at me, sisters, you know what I'm saying? Because I still love y'all, man. We talking about back then. Not now, but back then. Y'all done caught up now, but back then, woo -hoo -hoo, wow. Anyway, so look, um, I told my cousin, I'm like, man, yeah, I know it's on the west side. And woo, 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 wham. He was like, man, uh, he say this in the brims. I say it's in the what? He said, man, this over this in this over there in the brims. Now I ain't gonna front stunt like I'm like back then I was some type of walking gang encyclopedia, cause I wasn't. Man, I didn't even know um 
what a brim was. Uh, the, uh, the brims? I said, what is that? You know, now some people won't try to, they would try to sugarcoat it and make it seem like they knew they was hip and all that. But man, I hadn't even been game banging a whole year yet. You know what I'm saying? Not that I hadn't even been on the set a whole year. I didn't know the ups and downs and the demographics of where everything was at in, in, in Watts, Compton, South Central, Inglewood, the West Side, the East Side, and all that. I didn't know. I was a young kid. Young kid, you know? So, um, a brim, only thing I know is I was a crip and we didn't get along with the bloods. That's what I was told and that's what I ran with. Okay. So now, as far as all the little different names for different bloods, I didn't know them all. I knew, I knew I knew about them over there by us. I knew about the villains, the Peblos, and the outlaws. That's it. That's all I knew because the, all, those three were our immediate enemies right there. They was right there. Anything else, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. I don't, what's, what the heck is a brim? I didn't know. Um, Bang. So he went to try and explain it to me and tell me, you know. So now... If I'm not must if I can remember right at this time, I think uh they were still they were either they were um I think they had just stopped calling themselves LA Brims and start saying five nine Brims. This was before they start saying uh six deuce and, and six four and all of them. I think I think um they I think not don't get me wrong, don't quote me wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But um I, I believe they. I, I believe they were still saying uh, they were still five nine brims at the time, if, or L A brims. I'm telling, I'm not for sure, but I, I know the, the brims. He was a brim. We will get to why I say that. But anyway, so look, so you know, my nose wide open, man. I ain't, I ain't had me no cat yet. I'm thinking this might be my chance to, you know, what I'm saying, like all right, bang. He said I'm gonna take you over there, and um, he said I ain't finna stay though. So I'm like, man, just drop me off. And um, I'm going to call you. You finna come back here? He's like, yeah, I'm finna come back here. I'm going to call you when I'm when I'm ready for you to come pick me up. So he's like, all right. Now the thing is, with him being an older fool, knowing what I'm doing, why did he even let me go over there? Not just go over there, but then drop me off. You know, drop me off. It left me. Hey, I don't know. Anyway, I remember, I remember, I, I remember like it was yesterday. I had on, I had on that, I had, I had on my lumberjack. I cherished it. I had it. I had the, I had the, the dark green, light green lumberjack on. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I had on some black khakis. I can't remember what type of shoes I had on. Can't remember that. Um, I know I had a hat on because I left it. I remember, I remember I had a hat on, um, at that time back then, it might've been a golf hat or it might've been some different type of hat, man. I turned that air off. It didn't got hot as a big dog. Bump it. I got to thug it out now. So anyway, we jump in the car. We going, Meow. we get over there. I cannot remember where it was, but it was in the brims though. So. We get over there and um he like, that's the house right there. That's the address. So I get out the car and I go knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Now it's nighttime. It's dark. So uh the female that I had been communicating with on the on the phone, she come to the door. So I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up? She was like, hey, how you doing? So I'm like, you woo woo. She like you woo. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I turn around, I wave to my cousin. I'm like, all right, all right, you know, it's cool, it's cool. So he pull off. Yow. So she come out on the porch and um she was a little she was a little like dark brown skinned girl. Uh I can't remember how her hair was. I can't really 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 remember exactly what all she looked like. Um she was kind of thin, but of course I, I back then I didn't know like I said I was number 13. I don't know thin from thick, you know. All I knew is she was a female. You know, so look, we standing on the porch talking. So now I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. She asked me, she said, uh, she said, are you a crib? 
Man, I stuck my chest up. I'm like, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm, you know, hey, I'm thinking it's all good. I'm thinking I'm impressing her. You know, and, her, and I was. I, I was. Oh, but it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's always something around the corner, though, man. It's always something around the corner. So she was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She say, uh, you know, my brothers, my brothers, they don't like y'all. Scooby? I'm like, huh? She say, yeah, my brothers, they don't like Crips. They don't. I mean, brothers you got. She said, I got three brothers. Man, that no, I'm, I'm like, and 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 don't nail one of them like Crips? She was like, uh-uh. She said they bloods. Whoa, whoa. They what? She she said, they bloods. They bloods. I'm like, where they live? She said, they live right here. All three of them? Yeah. Man, look. I'm like, okay. Now, let me show you something, man. I call a ball a ball, strike a strike. Y'all from the foundation who've been rocking with me, you know I'm going to tell the good just like I'm going to tell the bad. If it make me look good, I'm going to put it out there. If it make me look bad, I'm going to put it out there. Because I don't look at it as good or bad. I look at it as it happened. You feel what I'm saying? We as individuals, man, have went and gone through so much in our young lives coming up in them streets of L.A. that you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get the good stuff and you're going to get the bad stuff. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But just tell it like a T.I. is, you know what I'm saying? If you won that day, you won it. If you lost that day, you lost that day, man. Just let it be known, you know what I'm saying? Can't win them all, man. I tell you all the time. You run across a person, man, tell you they ain't lost a fight, Never, it's because they've never been in one then. You know what I'm saying? Because if you've been in some fights, oh, you, oh, some real fights, oh, you done lost. You know, yeah, that's that it is, you know. But anyway, a lot of dudes going to play that tough talk like they ain't scared, like they got, I'm a goon and a goblin. Man, stop it. I'm, you know, I'm a regular dude. I was a regular little child, too. And as soon as she told me that, oh, I got a little spooked. I got a little spooked, you know. So I'm reflecting back on what my cousin said. So I'm like, okay, that's this Bram stuff he talking about. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So wasn't nobody, you know, I'm hoping her brothers wasn't at home. We we keep on talking. We talking, we talking, we talking. We talking, we talking. So I had asked about if I was going to be able to use her phone to call my cousin to come get me when it was time for me to go. She was like, yeah, you can so we just talking, you know what I'm saying? Young kids popping, chopping it. You know what I'm saying? Man, the, the front door opened up. The front door opened up. Man, a big old dude came out. Now, this dude, was to me, was bigger than my cousin. My cousin was big. He wasn't as heavy as my cousin because my cousin was one of them big old heavy fools. You know, it running our family like that. Ain't no little dudes. So, but this dude was taller than my cousin. You know, I could tell what type of height he was. All I know is he was he was way bigger than me and he had a beard. You know, in my mind, if a man had a beard, he was a grown man. What? He was a grown man. I don't know how to... That man could have been about 17, 18, 19, something like that. I don't know. I didn't know. He, I know he was way older than me. I guess I was 13. So, you know, boom. But in my mind, he was a big old grown man with a beard. Had some braids. Even way back then. So he come on the porch. He say something to his sister like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, you ain't going to be out there all night and blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. So she on some, man, leave me alone. I'm talking to my friend. And woo, woo, woo. Now he done keyed in on me. Do, 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 do. I got on game paraphernalia. You can tell I'm banging. Yeah, you can tell I'm banging. I'm, a, I'm, I'm little. I'm a young, but you can tell I'm banging because of how I was dressed. So he come all the way out on the porch. So now... He, when he came out, he said, uh, what's up, blood? Now, immediately in my mind, my mind, my mind say, uh, self and myself said, yeah, uh, this is one of them dudes your cousin told you about. 
myself said, uh, show sure is. Uh, I said to myself, self, well, uh, what you going to do? Myself said back to me, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it go. You know? So uh, when he said it, I looked at him and I was like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, what's up, man? Now, of course, you know, cuz was our word. But like I said, I hadn't been, I hadn't even, I, man, I hadn't been banging six months. I hadn't even been banging six months, man. Um, but I knew, I knew, I knew cuz was our word, but I also knew that was a word they didn't like. And I didn't want no smoke. No, no, heck no. Was I, yes, I was scared. Mm -hmm. I was scared. So I'm like, what's up, man? So he's like, man, where you from? I said, where you from? Hey. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Now you're gonna get dudes that's gonna that's gonna pump fake and get on here and act like they was the hardest thing, you know what I'm saying, since whatever, you know. But um I'ma tell the truth, man. I I was scared. I knew I couldn't whoop this dude. My cousin ain't nowhere around. I'm on the west side of town. I'm like, dang, he a blood. I'm like, dang, you know? So uh I knew if I said Avalon or Fire Trade, he might want to get at me. But now I I, 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 I had knew in my mind enough to you don't want to just punk the game all the way. You punk it a little bit, but just not not all the way. So I'm like, hey, get what I, I said, man. Uh, I'm from South Park, not knowing that that was going to alert him to the fact that I was a crip, even. Even sooner than me saying Avalon or Five Trey, because from the from the rooter to the tutor, from the beginning of the end, everybody in LA knew South Park is a crip park. Even if they don't know what set is in that park, they know ain't nothing but crips in that park. Point blank. So you know, hey, what I, I said, man, I, no, no, I told my off the east side. I think that's what I said first. From the east side, he ain't like that. Man, what where at on these side? Here we go. That one I, I said, man, I'm, I'm from South Park. He looked at me. South Park. Hmm. He said, man, them, he said, man, them Crips over there, ain't it? He said, them Crips over there, ain't it? I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. I ain't gonna even lie, boy. Everything in everything in me want, want me to say no. No, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, man. The future, now get this, the future rider in me rose up. But he, he didn't rise up to let him see. He just rose up in here. And I told him, I, 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 yeah, I said, yeah. I said, yeah. Dude looked down on me because he way taller than me. Big, man, I'm a little kid, man. He grown man, big. He said, man, you a crip? Huh? You a crib? Boy, I'm looking at this dude. Boy, look, I thought, man, only thing in my mind, I, I, I thought the clouds had opened up and Jesus stepped out and was checking me about being a sinner. You know, that's a, you know, I didn't know all that back then, but you know, woo -hoo, the feeling I thought it, I felt, I guess I thought it felt like. But when he, when he, hey, you a crib? The, the, the show Jeopardy wasn't even out yet. But if it would have been out, I would have heard the, the theme music to that to that TV show Jeopardy. Boom, 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 You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really contemplating on if I should own up to this, but I had to, man. I had to, though. I, I had to, and I tell him, I like, yeah, man. I'm a crip. I'm a crip. I was scared. Oh, good God, I was scared. I'm looking at him. So he like, you, you think you hard? You think you down? You down? Woo, woo, woo. I'm looking at him. And now at this time, I don't even want to say nothing else. Luckily, old girl stepped in. And leave him alone. That's my friend. You know how girls do. Leave him alone. That's my friend. That's my friend. And really, in all actuality, 
I don't think that he would have really done something to me because I was a little kid. This was a grown man. I don't think that he, but now he was just punking me for real or trying to punk me and just scare me. You know what I'm saying? See if I was going to claim if I was going to punk the game or what, you know, or, or it, it might've been a slight little bit in there where he might've just chin checked me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad he didn't. Whew. But now old girl kicked in. Leave him alone. That's my friend. Leave my friend alone. Y'all mess with up and leave my friend alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm going to tell mama and whoop, 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 wham. So he like, uh, man, you got to come in the house. He, he get up off me because she, she, she hooping and hollering, squawking. Talk about telling mama. So, you know what I'm saying? They, they all stayed with their mama still. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know how old he was. But anyway, way older than me. So look, he telling her, man, you, you got to come in off this porch. Man, you got to come in the house. It's getting dark. I mean, it's getting late. You got to come in. She, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. So she let me come in and call my cousin. I called back to the house. I called my cousin. I told him, um, I'm ready to go. Hurry up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So he was like, all right, I'm on my way. Boom. So now me and her go back on the porch. And it took him about 15 minutes for the, you know, for Cub to get there. <laughs> Boom. Me and her talked. I didn't even get no, when my cousin pull up, I'm like, all right, I got to go. I ain't get no kiss goodbye or none of that, you know, no, no goodbye hug, no none of that. As soon as my cousin pulled up, I flew off the porch. I was ready to go. I was ready to go, man. Man, it's OV. I'm out of here. Yeah. Man, on the way back, that was a heck of a conversation on the way back. I told him what happened. I said, man, woo. I was basically telling him how her brother pressed me. Of course, that wasn't the language back then. But woo woo. And he was that now, now he wanna tell me, man, I told you this was over here in the Brims. I told you it was in the Brim. I'm like, like, man, what the heck is a Brim? You know, in the bloods. The bloods. I don't even know why you came over here. You know, my, my mind wasn't sophisticated enough to formulate the, the sentence on why you let me come over here, fool. I'm just glad to be getting from over there. Never called her again. Never, ever again. Uh, as the years went by, I never, I'm going I'm to put it like this. Here. I never went back over there for that type get out. Dad, did I ever go back? Oh, a bunch of times. Not for that, though. So um, I'm like, boom, that, that just tripped me out, man. That's that's a story, man, that had when I was real young, man. And it, man, you man, look, when you young and you just get your feet wet, man, in this game thing, man, man, you run into so many different ups, downs, turns around. It's like a juvenile man. I got, man, I got a bunch of stories. I tell you about my first time coming to juvenile hall, man. Oh man, when you actually get to running into so many dudes from different sets that you ain't never heard of, then you telling dudes where you from. And they gonna ask you, man, where that's at? You feeling like you did like that before? You the dish the set, fool. Talk about where that's at, like we ain't known. You not known. If I'm way over here on 51st and Avalon, ain't nobody, ain't nobody way in Gardena gonna know nothing about no five tray. You know, <laughs> especially way back then. But anyway, it's just a rite of passage, homie. Growing up, growing up in the streets of LA, man. Growing up in the streets of LA. Anyway, man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, y'all stay safe, man. Tell the people you love, you love them, homie. Tell the people you love, you love them, man. In the meantime, between time, man, y'all know what's happening with me. I represent the gangsters, man. The Mavalon gangsters, to be exact. I'm out. Peace. Two, one, man. Four, two, one, man.